morning, welcome to my channel, Fats Akita. I've lost 181 pounds on a ketogenic journey. I still have a long ways to go. A lot of days I have my door open, but it's pouring rain and freezing today. I also film in other rooms, but I need to keep an eye on the clock, and this is the only room that actually has a clock in it. I know, crazy, right? But I usually ask Google what time it is, or make her tell me, so I don't use clocks anywhere else. Only on my stove. So, let's get started by um, talking a little bit about yesterday. So yesterday I went to my first physical therapy um, and yeah, it hurts, but not terribly bad. Like I could deal with the pain from what I had to do. Um, and then I went to the gym for another hour plus um, and I got on the elliptical, the bike, the leg press, the butterfly thingy. Um, and I did a bunch of those, not using my upper body, um, other than when I was on the elliptical, I mainly held on to those or didn't hold on at all, um, because my upper body, this area is all hurt and I'm not supposed to use it. So, yeah, I ended up getting wiped out and in so much pain, I couldn't finish really filming last night. Like, I wanted to do an ending and a bunch of other stuff, but oh my gosh, let me tell you, the, the pain was excruciating. Um, I did not take a Modrin. I woke up in severe pain. I can barely sit down, um, barely move this arm area. Um, my back feels ripped to pieces. And later tonight, I have to do all this physical therapy-ish um, exercises on my own. I have to do it one to twice a day, um, ten times each thing. So, uh, I'm going to have to do it no matter how much pain I'm in. I still, like I said, have not taken any ibuprofen. It has been on my system for over 48 hours now. Um, I have pain everywhere. My fibromyalgia is going insane, of course, because no Motrin. I can actually feel the pain everywhere. Um, I'm having severe sinus issues, so I have the sinus migraines. Um, so, yeah, plus the pain from yesterday. But I'm trying to see how my head does without taking it because it was the only thing that stopped my head from shaking is having it in my system. Um, so I'm trying to see how bad it gets without the ibuprofen. Also, I'm trying to see if it is what's stalling my weight and if my weight will start moving without it. Um, I do not know yet. Um, it was the first time I used the elliptical in the gym, and I was on it for 37 minutes. Um, it kind of kicked my butt, to be honest. It's why I went to the bike next and ended up not doing the treadmill at all, um, because my legs felt like jello, but I pushed myself, and I rode the bike for 10 miles. I don't do it for time. I do it for mileage, because some days I'm faster, some days I'm slower, depending on how I feel, so I do 10 miles minimum. So, I was doing five miles minimum, but um, I went like and did um, walking around my yard lately. Like yesterday when I got home after doing all that, I was outside with my parents doing some yard work and working, walking around my yard. Um, for some reason, my little thingy, because it was elliptical and a bike and other things, it counted that I got over an hour of exercise, but it did not count it as any steps. And at that point, I had only had a thousand steps for the day. So by the time I came in last night, I was at 7,000 steps. So it was a very busy, productive, active day. Um, so I'm going to insert right now my weigh in, um, and then we'll talk about it. So I like to just do the little artwork on my clips. So I might as well show you. Okay. So, you saw I gone down 6 ounces, I'm back to 198, so for the week right now, I'm down 2 ounces, which is nothing. However, like everyone will tell you, when you start working out and you start doing stuff, you your little muscles and everything will start swelling and holding on water, and I drank like 5 of these yesterday, plus 3 coffees, um, and I'm in serious pain, like, ugh. So, I'm happy with those numbers, I'm okay with it. Um, I ended up blocking this dude yesterday, um, actually a few people, because, um, my channel is a no 
insult, no nasty comment channel, period. You don't get through if you're going to leave some nasty comments. Um, they just are jerks. I mean, I think everyone forgets that I've lost 181 pounds. And it is not my fault that I am stalled right now. I have tried everything. I have a reminder for April. Google's going on. Okay, stop Google. Um, so I can try to carb up, which I don't believe in. I mean, I have tried so much, but the scale isn't moving, but the inches are. Um, and this person's just nasty about it, saying I always have an excuse why the scale isn't moving. Uh, because I don't know why the scale is not moving. Uh, Tommy or whatever, uh, because, uh, hello, um, I'm working out, I'm eating 1,400 calories or less, I'm eating lower fat, and even when I was doing the higher fat and the 1,500 calories, my weight didn't go down either. Um, it's, it's like a science experiment. You don't know why, and of course, people have given me these excuses. Maybe it's the Motrin, maybe it's this, maybe it's because you're not getting any sleep. And these are doctors who are giving me these excuses, and um, other people who are showing me the videos to the doctors, um, because no one knows why. It's that simple. I don't even know why. I mean, if we're going off calorie adduction, which I do not believe in, deficiency, whatever the word is, um, I am way, we should be dropping weight like butter, okay? If we're going by not doing carbs, I should be dropping weight like butter. However, when I eat more carbs lately, still staying in keto, but doing net instead of total and getting around 30 something, those are days I seem to drop more. So, for all the haters out there, you don't get to me. I just think you're pathetic and I feel sorry for you. And then I delete you because <gasps> I don't have to put up with you. So, on to my keto day. I have had a collagen coffee. It's about 12.30 right now. The reason I'm having to watch the time is because I have a very, very, very sick girl who I think has bronchitis and maybe an ear infection or hopefully not the flu. And we are off to see the doctor in a few minutes. Um, I warned her school because they insist on those allergy tests. And I told them that once she has those allergy tests, first she had to come off her medicine for almost over two weeks. First, okay, we came off of it for three weeks. And the date kept getting changed because of the school had testing. So then she had to, she's been off of those pills forever. Then she had the allergy tests. Did not go over well at all. She's allergic to everything. She got back on her allergy meds, but she had a rough time. And then she caught a stomach bug, okay? And now she went back to school yesterday, and uh, now she's got something else wrong with her. And it's bad. Like, we didn't sleep for two nights, and last night was really bad. I did finally get some sleep. I ended up sleeping until 10 today to get some extra sleep because baby girls got this horrible, deep, insane cough that goes on for hours and hours. And I tried to take her to the emergency room last night, just in case, since she has severe asthma, in case she needed a nebulizer treatment, but she refused, and she's 14. I can't pick her up and throw her into a vehicle. But we are about to go to the doctor and see what's wrong with her and hopefully get her something to help her. Um... And I haven't eaten yet today. I won't be eating until I get home. I had a whole day planned. Okay, so come to find out that my spine um, and neck is out of alignment, like seriously bad. And I didn't know it. I guess if you lay down on a mat or a floor or a hard mattress, your shoulders are supposed to just fall back and touch the mattress. And so is your head. And I didn't know that. Like, I have heartburn for one thing, so I sleep on tons and tons of pillows. I had no clue, and when they laid me down, and my head's about eight inches floating in the air, and I can't get to go down without bending my head back, and then my shoulders were 3.5 inches from the mat, and they couldn't get them to go down, and no, it's not because of fat, it's because they're curved in, and my head is out some. Um, and they think it could be pinching a major nerve. Also, my muscles and everything are insanely, insanely tight. Um, they're trying to loosen them back up. 
They're like just balls of rock. Um, so I was told no more recliners. Um, I have to sit up straight. So I'm having to get rid of my recliner that I've had for years, which I love to death. And it's how I play my games. It's how I use my computer. I've always sat on it to do it. And now I have to get rid of it and actually get a desk and get a computer chair. And I have to start learning to sit up. And I bought one of those things on Amazon that is supposed to like hold you back and teach you what better pasta. I can't say the word. It sounds like I'm saying pasta. Um, but it's supposed to help you. And let me tell you, trying to remember all day yesterday and put myself back in place, my spine is killing me because I'm not used to sitting like that. Um, it's hurting my rib cage because I am not used to sitting so upright and it's making me shake, not my head, but my body. Um, and it's because for years being 368 pounds, it can really pull on you and make it where you slump and you come in and then you're just so used to doing it that even when you lose that weight, your body is still used to being all bunched up. So I have to go to the physical therapy to help with this pulled tendon and ligament. Plus now I guess my spine is out of whack and I have to go to physical therapy to help put my spine the way it's supposed to be and put my head back where it's supposed to be because it's way out here and it's supposed to be way back here. I don't even know how you would do that. Like, it sounds weird to me. Um, so yeah, if you see me stretching my neck really high like this and trying to pull myself back and it's because I'm supposed to start practicing every time I sit to do it. <laughs> I actually got so stressed out from trying to remember it yesterday. I ended up walking. That's how I got those 6,000 steps in by the end of the night quickly because I couldn't sit and remember to do that. So, and trying to do it when I'm walking is crazy too. So I bought this thing for like $20 that I'm gonna try once it gets here from Amazon. It's supposed to help and teach me where I'm supposed to be like pulling my body. It pulls it for me and then I'm supposed to learn how that feels and do it myself. We will see if it works. I'm hoping it'll work. Um, and I'm hoping they can fix me. And she's still not sure if it's what's causing the head shaking or not. However, when they put the electrodes right here um, to stimulate and vibrate really hard on my muscle and shoulder area, my neck shook like insane. They had to turn it off after about five, seven minutes because I couldn't take it anymore. My head was going everywhere and I was almost throwing up from it. So... Um, mainly when they did this right here. So that's when she said that it possibly, not that she's ever seen it, but there's a possibility because that muscle is so hard and so messed up that I could have a nerve that's going into my head twisted up in there. And when it's moved a certain way, it shakes my head. Or when the muscle tense, when I get stressed, it shakes my head from the nerve. But we don't honestly know. She really thinks I need to see a neurologist. Duh, everyone does. We just can't get in there. Um, so, yeah. I am rattling today. I was supposed to go to Costco, um, go buy a computer chair. I got to get a good one and then get a desk, um, which is kind of really, really sucking because that's some of my reserve that I was trying to use to go to the convention in uh, Georgia. And I'm still going to try to go but I have to have the chair and desk. Otherwise, I have only this stool at my kitchen counter to sit on, um, and it's not like I can see the TV, and it's not like I can use my real computer. I have a little tiny laptop for answering stuff, but it's not how I process my videos, um, so I need something to sit on and <laughs> process my videos. Um, so, and it can't be one of the cheap chairs. I have a cheap computer chair, um, but the doctor showed me what I need to be looking for in a computer chair because it will help straighten my back easier and support me and not get me hurt. So it is not a cheap one. It has to be a this executive one, um, but luckily Office Max does have some on sale. It's what I was gonna go look at today. Um, so yeah, I swear, everything falls at once because it's like a lot of things are stopping me from getting to go to this convention in Georgia. Like I really wanna go. And every time I turn around, I need to spend money elsewhere. Um, and the money I spend is my credit cards that has no interest for two years and I slowly pay them off. That's how I survive. 
<laughs> it might sound stupid, but I've always paid them off on time. I've never had an issue with it. And it's how I live right now. So one day I'm hoping to make money either from YouTube or be able to actually go out and find a job. But no one will hire you if you can't lift anything. No one will hire you if your head's shaking. And my biggest issue is latex. I can't work anywhere that uses latex even to clean the building. Um, I have issues when I go in stores. There's a certain Walmart I can't even walk into without having an allergy attack. My allergy attacks is my neck likes to swell shut. All the way. Bye bye throat. Um, so latex is a serious issue with me. I can't work anywhere that um, I would need to bring up anything either. I cannot there's like avocados, bananas, melons. It doesn't matter if I have gloves on. If I get near them, it's the same as getting near latex and out I go. Um, and the list is even longer than that. So between not being able to lift, my allergies and my head shaking, and I do have dyslexia, so it's not like I can go work in an office. <laughs> um, I have done that before, but um, I never had to really type anything. I did payroll. I'm really good with numbers. I've done security. I've done check-ins for nursing homes. I've done event planning all my life. Like that's a huge thing for me. I've been a personal shopper. I mean, as a manager of a clothing store, however, I became extremely allergic to friggin' um, cardboard. And you have to do inventory there every week. Um, and I can't be near cardboard, so I can't work there either. So, yes, my body has been ridiculous in the last 14 years, stopping my life. And in this state, I'm way more allergic to any other state. And no, I couldn't afford to live anywhere else. This is it. This is where I have to stay. My house is paid off. No, I cannot sell it. It's on my parents' property. Me and if I could, I couldn't get that much for it. Not what it's worth. Um, so, I have to deal with what I got. I'm going to shut up, go wake up my daughter because we need to leave in a few minutes and I'll show you what I eat today. And I think I'm going to make me another collagen coffee to go because like I said, my head really is blowing up and I'm trying my best not to touch a mountain. So if it gets too bad, I won't have a choice because I have to drive and I have to be able to do things. And I do suffer from severe, severe migraines where I will just have to pull over on the side of the road and start throwing up and barely can see straight. Um... When they get bad, they are nasty bad. Um, so, like I said, I'm shutting up. I've ran my mouth long enough to y'all. Um, I hope y'all do enjoy my videos. It's mainly, like I said yesterday, I probably would have been like, okay, I'm just going to stay a medium the rest of my life. But I'm doing YouTube, and I have all of y'all to help me keep going. Um, it's not that I was ever going to stop keto. But y'all help me by saying I'm inspiring y'all by not giving up. Well, that inspires me to not give up. So it's a two-way street here. It's not just me trying to inspire y'all. Y'all are doing it for me too. Because every time you say that or you say, girl, you've already lost 181 pounds. Remember that. Um, you're helping me. So I want to thank all of y'all because y'all change my lives every day. You just have no clue. And the haters, believe it or not, they do too, but not in the bad way they're wishing. It just makes me more determined and more stubborn and be like, you ain't got a picture on your thing and you're being hateful. Well, what do you really look like? Cause um, I think I'm hot and I think I'm absolutely gorgeous with the best eyes and one day we'll have my hair back. Um, so yeah, maybe I have big thighs and a big ass, but that's okay because uh, my man really likes it. So yeah, he's perfectly fine with the way I am. I'm the one who wants to lose all the weight. He was perfectly fine with me at 300 and something pounds, but he uh, he's, wants us to be healthy. Um, but he never pushed one single second for me to lose weight. Cause he loves me and that's all that matters and he is crazy hot at least to me so i'm gonna shut up now because i'm really rambling and get that kid up and i'll show you what i eat in a little bit okay so today's been a extremely long day let me tell you we were at the doctor's for a long time <sighs> she has a terrible cold infection um and fever and I forgot what else, but they're praying on steroids and antibiotics and she can't go to school until Monday. So, yeah. 
it's a little exhausting. I also came over to Office Max real fast by myself to get a computer chair, which I paid $12 for them to build it so I can pick it up tomorrow and not worry about building it. Gotta head to the meat market after I go to Walgreens and pick up her medicine. I'm starving. I haven't eaten today. So, I picked this little bag up. I'm gonna try them. Hopefully they're good because that's gonna be um having to hold me over that in my water that I keep with me everywhere until I can get home later. And it's already five o'clock, people, and I don't think I'll be home for two more hours or so. <sighs> I'm exhausted. All right, it is close to seven. I am starving. The meat market was closed. There was no way to get any food. The blackberries were all molded again. I don't get this. Um, I can't find them in the store that isn't molded. So I'm having a six and sub. I threw out the bread. I only have a tiny bit of lettuce, a lot of black olives, and two slices of tomato on a, B, it's a BMT. So I'm gonna try this and hopefully it doesn't make me sick to my stomach and hopefully it doesn't affect me. Oh, and I ate almost the whole bag of this. I'll probably finish it off tonight. Very, very spicy. I should have known it's pepper jack, but I loved it. And when I was starving, it was all going in my mouth. But, so this was three carbs. This will be my ending video. I am a mess. I am dead to the world. My stuff I had in my hair, they're little tiny clips and they they broke holding my hair up. Um, so I'm about to have me a coffee. It's seven o'clock. I don't think I'm going to eat anything else. If I happen to, it'll be the pancakes and I'll tell y'all about it. That was a very small amount of food. That was not enough food for the day to be truthful. Um, but I haven't had pepperoni or salami since the beginning of this year. Like, I don't think I had it this year at all, and it is not settling on my tummy. It instantly swole. Um, but I had nowhere else to stop, and there is no food other than eggs in this house and some to make pancakes. And I was too exhausted to make pancakes and starving and lazy. Yep, lazy. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and say goodnight, and I will let y'all know if I happen to eat anything else. I'm just waiting on my coffee.